fueling cables. They top off the liquid propellants until just before uh, the launch, and uh, uh, that is uh, what uh, makes it possible for us to keep them full because the propellants are cold, and it's very hot here in Karu, so we have to uh, keep topping them off till just a few seconds uh, before uh, the launch. Uh, we are closing in on uh, the last minute of uh, the countdown. And you hear that uh, the announcement that we're getting very close to that. And all the years of hard work coming down to this last minute. Top, I zero minus one minute. Already with the one minute mark, the uh, VIPs uh, will be heading out to the uh, balconies to have a chance to uh, see the launch. It, it really is a bucket list item if you got satellite blood in your veins to be here sometime to see a rocket go up. We welcome everybody around the world. Live webcast on arianspace.com. Special greetings to our friends at Airbus Defense and Space in Europe, DirecTV at numerous locations around the country, ISRO in Bangalore, India, Space Systems L'Oreal in America, all our industry partners, even DirecTV people watching around the country on channel 9950. Okay, here's the countdown in French. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top! Allumage Vulcain. Allumage de EAP. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux. That rumble echoing across the Amazon jungle is the mighty Ariane 5 as it roars into the skies above Kourou. My seventh time I've had a chance to be here it takes my breath away every time. 54 seconds into flight, Ariane 5 has already broken the sound barrier here in Karu. The massive Jupiter facility is going to start shaking in just a moment. We can begin hearing the sounds now. And there it is as the Ariane 5 roars out over Devil's Island and uh, into the sky above French Guiana. One incredible, powerful machine, 1,300 tons of thrust, breaking the Ariane 5 free from the bonds of Earth's gravity. 90% of that power right now as this building just rocks is coming from two boosters, each one of them 31 meters high, 100 feet tall. They're burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes, more than two tons a second. Boy, it really gets your heart going when that baby jumps off the pad. When the boosters have done their job, and that'll be in uh, less than a minute from right now, Ariane will be 70 kilometers into the sky. It's already over halfway there and traveling at more than a mile a second, much faster uh, than a bullet. And look at those images as uh, we have just fabulous pictures of Ariane. You're gonna see those boosters when they separate as they come up in just a couple of moments. We're tracking uh, uh, the rocket from Galliette, a tracking station on a big hill right outside of Jupiter. And there it is. Watch those solid rocket boosters separate and we have just lost, my friends, 600 tons of weight. 600 tons as those two solid rocket boosters drop off. And uh, we're now about 180 tons. Uh, uh, the VIP is still standing out on the balcony because you can still see this thing as you see uh, the boosters uh, falling away. Uh, the uh, lighter we are, the faster we go. Ariane's uh, moving on out uh, 2.14 kilometers per second. The magic number tonight is 9.3. 9.3 kilometers per second. The next uh, major event will be the jettisoning of the fairing, and uh, it will be uh, gone in just a few seconds. 
Uh, it's been protecting the satellites during the early stages of uh, the launch and while they were here on the ground. Uh, we don't really need it anymore where we are up in the sky now at 118 it's kilometers. Up, there you saw in the animation and uh, some great pictures from a previous launch of uh, the fairing dropping away. We just lost in our two tons. If you look on the screen, that uh, series of green uh, charts that we saw has been replaced by a curve, and there's a dot. We want that dot to follow the curve perfectly, and uh, that is uh, watching uh, the mission as it progresses, all the telemetry, and everything is uh, going well. Closing in on the uh, four-minute mark uh, now, uh, the rocket 130 kilometers above Earth. Technically, we're in space. We still have a long way to go. Uh, but everything is nominal right now with uh, the launcher. The main cryogenic stage, or the EPC, uh, will burn for about nine minutes. It's really a huge fuel tank. It's uh, 150 tons of liquid oxygen and 25 tons of liquid hydrogen doing uh, the heavy lifting tonight. The mighty Balkan engine gulping uh, about 700 pounds of fuel a second. That's 500 times more than a jet engine. You see our tracking stations. We'll talk a little more about those uh, tonight. But Gilat uh, here uh, near the uh, launch facility in uh, Koru uh, is uh, the one that is uh, tracking us right now. You're going to see on the screen some replays, and we'll let you just enjoy these while I continue to pontificate about the mission here. But it is amazing uh, to see this uh, this rocket jump off that launch pad. When those solid rocket boosters fire, uh, there is no going back. And Ariane leaps like a racehorse off the uh, uh, pad, 780 tons, thundering uh, into the skies uh, above uh, Corvu. And again, at uh, this point, we're five minutes, 25 seconds in. Let's take another look. That is just incredible. And if you think of the uh, the weather, again, we're supposed to be in the rainy season down here in French Guiana. I've been here in December when it was a wall of water falling from the sky, but Mother Nature really shined on us uh, tonight for a fantastic launch. You see the... Uh, Images there, uh, de animation de of uh, the normaux, launcher. And again, everything continues to go well. Another fabulous shot of the launch as it thunders off uh, the pad. We are uh, closing in now on 6.15 after launch. A few more of the officials from Ariane Space uh, who are following uh, the activities and from DirecTV, key officials. We welcome them along with ISRO to uh, tonight's, uh, tonight's launch. Glad to have them as longtime partners of Arian Space. Right now, it's uh, time for some exciting news from Arian Space. This all remains green from Koru.